it's Lee. I know I haven't done a video for a while, but I finally got my camera back from my dad, which he borrowed to take back to Vietnam. So now um, I'll get started with something really quick and easy. I know a lot of women have this problem when it comes to their purses. So it's gonna be pretty much, I'm gonna demonstrate how to keep the bottom of your purse from slouching down so pretty much whenever you have a purse that's a larger base when you put a lot of things in it eventually the gravity will pull it down and make it sag and it doesn't look very appealing so what I did do is you have an option of buying a base shaper and with this plexiglass uh, when you go on their website and purchase this and spend um, 14.95 euro for the base itself and shipping is 4.75 for shipping and when you kind of convert everything into US dollars it's approximately about $27 so when you buy it might be slightly different plus minus a couple dollars more or less than the 27 that I've spent on this and I would definitely put the link on the bottom of my information description but if you don't want to spend $27 for every single purse that you do have, then you can choose to make it yourself. And all you really need uh, to do is have a leftover box, shipping box that, you know, if you buy stuff anywhere, you can find cardboard boxes pretty much. Uh, you can use this. And some tape. Scissors. A ruler, which I didn't have a ruler, so I'm just going to use my tape measure and a pen, pencil, anything to write, and you can make this for practically free. Well, to get started, um, what I needed to do was measure the base of my purse. So after using my tape measure and figure out the dimensions of my purse, I traced the shape on here. I did two of the same shape, traced it on, and then I will start to cut this out. Ooh, let's do this. So here's my two shapes, and when you cut it out, test it off, I'm going to put it inside my purse. As you can see, it's pretty good. I mean, I could have made it a little bit bigger, but I think this will be fine. This is one, and then I'm going to test the second piece. Because it's always better to have two pieces to make it a little bit more stable, and they both fit really well in there. So what I would do next is just tape these two pieces together. I got one of my um, shipping tapes. Any tape that you have at the end, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be clear or anything. But uh, just going to go around, add it on here, and just tape it. And you can continue taping it all the way around um, if you want, but a lot of people don't like how the color looks inside of the purse because you kind of want it to match your purse sometimes. So you can choose to cover it with a um, wrapping paper that matches your purse or fabric or anything like that and decorate it to what you would like it to be. And if you feel like your cardboard is still a little too thin, you can actually cut three pieces or four pieces and then tape it all together. And it makes it a really stable base for your purse. And plus it's free. And I think it's very practical and easy to make for everybody. Every woman can make this uh, DIY. But if you choose to um, be fancy and <laughs> want to buy your own uh, bases, uh, the thing is that when I purchased this base, it didn't fit my trapeze purse exactly. So when I emailed the company, they got right back to me and told me that there's actually two sizes for the trapeze and they sent me the replacement very fast. I, I actually got about a week or two. I know everything's, you know, international shipping takes about 10 days or so. So they sent it to me for free and let me keep the old base too. So I really recommend this company. They, it helps a lot with my purse and it makes my purse last even longer because I tend to throw everything inside my purse and carry my life around every single day. And thanks a lot guys for watching. Bye.